Hi guys, so in this video, okay, uh, this is a continuation from a previous video and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a quicker step in relation to setting up this top portion here based on this uh, soap dispenser and if you remember from the previous video, what we did was we did three extrusions, okay, we did extrusion number one for this cylindrical section here, extrusion number two for the next portion and extrusion number three for this top portion here before we add on I suppose the dispenser uh, a little bit that's going to stick out of it. Now doing it in that step uh, sequence is absolutely fine uh, but there is those three steps can be limited to one if you can recognize the geometry in the uh, object. So I'm going to refer out here to the little sketch. So as I said we built it up in three sections. We had extrusion one, two and three. Where extrusion one was a diameter 30 circle we went up 10 Extrusion 2 was a diameter 16 circle and we went up 5 and extrusion number 3 was a diameter 10 circle and we went up 15. Now we're going to actually do a quicker step here and I referred to it in the last video where we're going to use a revolve. Now to how to do a revolve and the principle of a revolve is if you imagine this triangle here, okay where I'm just going to shade in where you can see the triangle there, that's our triangle with our axis line here. If that triangle was to stay where the axis stays stationary and it was to a spin around, otherwise revolving around, it would help me to generate a cone, okay? Now that principle can be applied over here to this section if you can recognize the geometry. I've done a little sketch here. So first of all, I'm going to split everything kind of in half there. If you imagine a line was going right through the middle, okay? And essentially the profile I want to create is this. This is the sketch I want to create. When I say profile, I mean sketch. I want to create that profile, okay? And you can see I've it actually done here. So first of all, look at all the heights. We have 15, five, and 10. So the overall height of it is 30, okay? What's the height down to here? You can see it's 15, so I put in the 15. The height for the next section is five, and the height for the last section is 10. However, all my dimensions are halved here. So wherever I have, you can see here we have a diameter of 30, I now have a radius of 15. And I put that in there, it's not as uh, put in there as neatly, but you see the distance from here to here is 15. What's the distance from here out to here? That distance is a radius of eight. You can see I kind of continued it down, down here. And the reason I got the eight is because half of the diameter 16 is eight. And finally, the distance for here is five. Okay, and that little gap there is five. If I can create this profile, okay, and use this line as my axis, I can revolve it to help me generate this structure here. So that's what we're going to do there now. We're going to create this sketch on the appropriate plane. Now, if I go back in here, you can see I've obviously got these three objects. What I'm actually going to do with all of those objects there is I'm going to select all of those, okay? It's okay if you have this done previously, and then when I've all of them selected, I'll right-click on them, and I'm going to delete them, okay? i am gone back to stage one, okay, where we were previously when we had done our loft. And I'm going to do it in a different step now. So the plane I want to draw on is either the front plane. So if I go here to my top view, you'll see when I highlight the front plane, it's right in the middle. That would be appropriate. Or I could do it on the right plane. In this case, I'm just going to draw it on the front plane. So I'm going to select sketch and select front. Okay. So if I look at the front plane now and just bring it in a bit better so I can see it there. I want to start off with a line command, just thinking there, yeah, I may have to start down here. So with my line command, I'm going to select construction as well. And I'm going to start on the origin at the bottom. And I'm going to go all the way up to here. You can see there, it doesn't really map onto the top of it. So I'm going to go a little bit higher and press right click and escape. Now I want that there to be in line with this edge here. So rather than using a dimension, we can use another tool here called coincidence. So if I select the line, or sorry, select the tipmost point, this point here, and then select coincidence, and what I want it to be touching is this top face here. So select this, and you can see it's in line with it now. Now that I have a start point at the height I want, I'm going to go over here to my line command again. Do not select construction. Now I'm going to draw that profile. So the profile I want to draw, as I said, is this one with all my dimensions here. So up 30, out 5, down 15, out another 3 for 8, uh, down 5, and then out another bit, and so on, and bring it back home. We'll apply the dimensions then. So starting here, go up, out, down, out, down, out, and then down to here, 
and bring it back home. And you can see our sketch there. That's the sketch we want to create. So I want to apply dimensions to that now. This one, I want it to be 30 millimeters high. I want the distance for here to be five. I want the overall distance to be 15. And I want the distance from this line to this line to be eight. So there's our three radiuses, five, eight, and 15. Mm -hmm. Now I want to set the individual heights. This height, I want it to be 15. And then this height, I'm going to do the middle one. I want that to be five. So it's got a bit small there. And there you go. You can see our sketch is fully defined. By 15 and five, automatically this line will be 10. Don't need to do it. If I dragged it out there, it will go into a gray dimension. You can see when it's gray, it means I didn't really need it. So I'll just undo that last step. And there we go. So there's our sketch, you can see. Now, this is the reason I like to do this in one step, because you can see our design tree is a lot neater, okay? Rather than having sketch extrude, sketch extrude. Now we can simply do a revolve. So if I select a revolve, the line I want to select, revolve axis in here, the face is already selected. The revolve axis, I want to select this line here. And when I've selected that line, you can see it's after generating the three cylinders. Click the green arrow to accept. So in my opinion, I think that is a much neater way to actually create it. It's not the exact way you can do it. You can do it in many ways. There's more ways than one, okay? But I think that is probably the most appropriate way if you can recognize um, the profile, okay? So now we're on to the last little portion of this um, object, and we want to create this little um, section here, okay, for the dispenser part. And it does say, use your own dimensions for the nozzle. Okay, so in relation to that, I want to work out, first of all, what is the height from here all the way down to here. Now, I know the height from here up to here is 80. Another 10 will get me to 90. Now I'm at 95. I'm probably going to go up to about maybe in between about 102 maybe up to there. So that's my first dimension. I'm going to go 102 from there to there. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an arc out to here like this because we're going to do a sweep. An arc like that, and that arc is going to have an angle, and I'm going to do it out to here like this, something like that. I might set the angle maybe at 15 degrees, okay? That angle between those two lines. So that's the first thing I'm going to do in my profile. So going back in here, I'm going to sketch it on the, this time I'm going to sketch it on the right plane, looking at the side of it. So I'm going to select sketch and select right, okay? Looking at... Doesn't matter if I'm looking at the right or the left side, I look at the right hand side. And I want it to come out this direction. Okay? So I'll actually come out this direction, sorry, I should say. This direction here. So I'm going to do starting off with a line command, and then I'm going to select construction. And I'm going to start on the origin. Click on this point, drag up roughly into the middle here. And having done that, right click, press escape line. I'm going to give that a dimension. I said about 102. I was just guessing. That's a little bit low, actually, now that I think of it. So I'm actually going to go a bit higher. I'm going to go 107. Okay. So 1995. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the four millimeters at the bottom. That's where I forgot my dimension there. Okay. So 107 looks appropriate. Now that I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is line command, construction. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to just extend the line out to about there, maybe. Okay, right click, escape line. The distance I want between that, them two lines, okay, or sorry, the rate, the degree, I should say, click on the line, click on the other line to get a degree in between them. I want that to be 15. Okay, now the last little command I'm going to do is I'm going to get a circle. Okay, I might do three points. I'll actually do a center point arc, probably the easiest one. Sorry, so go over here to your center point arc, select it. And then having that selected, select on the center, then come up to this point here. And I'm going to draw it in until it hits this line. Okay. And you can see there, I've done the little arc. Now, if you want, you come along with your trim tool and you can just cut off that little edge there. Absolutely fine. Okay. So now that we have that actual rough profile done, that's the direction I want it to follow out. I'm going to leave that. Okay. So I'm going to accept that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename Sketch 5. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to right-click on this rename. And I'm going to say, 
and dispenser path. That's the path I want my dispenser to follow. So I'll accept that. Now what I want to do is, on this point in here, I want to actually create um, a circle, okay? So what plane is kind of going that way? If you look here, it's the front plane. If I look down on top of it, it's my front plane is going through it. So I want to do a sketch on the front plane. So to do a sketch on the front plane, I'm going to select sketch, and I'm going to select front. Okay, now looking directly at the front of it, you can see I've already got my point here. I'm going to select center point circle, start it on the point, do a circle here. I'm going to give that a dimension. I'm going to drag out, I'm going to make it, I'm going to say 7. I think 7 is appropriate, something like that. And as you can see there, if you just look around this side, you can see that our circle now is actually in contact with our path line, our dispenser path. Okay, and this is going to help us to do what's known as a sweep. So I want to accept that now as well, green arrow. Now you can see here our circle is inside our, our um, kind of cylinder section here, and then our path is coming out of it. Okay, it's in it for a portion where you can see it's kind of hidden detail there, and then we have a heavy line here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to do a sweep. Okay, but before I do that, I'm going to rename this sketch as well. Right click, rename, and I'm going to say uh, dispenser profile. Profile being a sketch. I'm going to say capital P. And there we go. Dispenser path, dispenser profile. And as you can see there, if I just move this guy, if I hover over them, you can see they're orange there. There's the profile, there's the path I wanted to follow. So to be able to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to a new command, it's called a sweep. Select sweep. Now it's going to ask me my faces are sketches. Uh, this is the profile that I want, faces and sketch regions. So I'm going to select it from here, dispenser profile. You can see it's after going in here. Now it's asking me for the path I want to follow. So I'm going to select dispenser path. And once I select this, oh, sorry. And now they're in here, path. And there we go. You can see it was generated. The circle came from here and it comes out through the object and it will finish obviously where my path ends and select the green arrow to accept. And there you go guys, that there is the dispenser completed. The only thing to do now is obviously apply some finishing touches. So following the color scheme that's on my sheet, you can see here I kind of have a yellow section. I've got the orange at the bottom and then the orange lid. So I'm gonna follow the same profile. So now that I've it named, you can see here I've got the base. So I'm gonna select the base, I'm gonna select the revolve, and I'm gonna select the sweep. All three of those are selected. Right click on one of them. And I'm going to say add appearance to three features. I'm going to select a nice kind of orange color, green arrow to accept. And the other one is the body. I'm going to select that now. Right click on it, add appearance to feature. And I'm going to go with a yellow. And there's my green arrow. Now, obviously, you could come along if you wanted and individually do individual faces as well. That is your choice entirely. But there we have it, guys. That there is our um, uh, soap dispenser uh, where we started off. I just run through. The steps we started off with our sketch then we did our extrusion then we did our plane and a sketch again above it we did another plane and a sketch above that and then we did our loft where we created that feature then we did our sketch and this is when i did the revolve in the other video in the starting video we did three extrusions absolutely fine then i did my revolve and after that then we did the dispenser path the dispenser profile with a little circle and then we created the sweep okay so that's that video done guys and um, i hope you found that helpful